Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like the channel and become part of this beautiful family that we are. And hitting that subscription button, you should know it's all free. And of course, the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I want to thank you so much for your support, your loving comments. You guys are just a blessing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'd like to mention that I do have a private crochet group if you're interested to join or you have to have as a profile. So um, you're more than welcome to join us and my beautiful queens on the group. Um, and also I have a Facebook a crochet page that you can follow me, TikTok and Instagram. All of these links will be below the description box. There's a little arrow, like a V shape facing down this way like that. You can just click there, it opens up and all the links are there just below the video. A lot of you still don't know how to do that. I think I'll have to make a little video and show you because I get questioned. A lot of times my hook sizes, what kind of thread, when everything is listed below in the description box. I also would like to mention that I get requested a lot for written patterns. I don't write patterns. I go as my brain brings me there. I, as much as I don't write them, I don't read them either, unfortunately. So I use 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal brands, as I am in Europe. Uh, my threads, they go by number and not by name. So this lime green would be number 22. And I have this gorgeous gray, number 12. These are 100% cotton thread, um, 100 grams equivalent to 300, 325 yards. They're $12 a ball, minimum order of six to cover at least shipping. I gain nothing from it. I also uh, have shiny threads, which I just finished doing a project, but I still have a little bit left. I don't know if you can see this is black and gray. Uh, they're 50 grams. These are um, nylon. Could that be it? I can't remember, but anyway. Um, so they're the same price for whatever reason, it's much thinner than my regular thread. This four ply is similar to Aunt Lydia number three cotton. Mine is a little bit thinner, so my patterns become automatically smaller. Okay, if you're using um, Aunt Lydia number three cotton, your patterns are bigger. 2.75 hook or three, 3.5, depending on the pattern I'm working on. And a pair of scissors, of course, and a small one to tuck in loose ends. Uh, please give a thumbs up on the video, comment, share. Sharing is caring. Help out the channel to grow. And I send you much love and much hugs and many prayers for many of you that need. We all need in general. The world needs it in general. And I send you much hugs. Let's get started, everyone. Thank you. So I'm going to use white. And I might have a twist on this. It could be a big centerpiece or a tablecloth for a small table. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'll see as I go how I feel. But I'm planning maybe to add 3D flowers. And that will probably go into the second video if I do so. Which the tutorial is out on these flowers. You guys should know it by now. I want to do it like the Christmas theme. So I've used two rows uh, for the granny square here to attach onto the pattern if I'm going to create. And of course, I've left a piece of string to put my pearl on and most probably will be mixing the reds just to give it that pop up. But I'll see as I go and how I feel. I haven't been feeling great lately. Uh, I think it's due to the weather change. So my throat is scratchy. I've been uh, getting a little fevered up here and there. I've tested myself. It's not COVID. I don't have a cold. It's just, you know, like tiredness, achy body. I, I think that the climate change and the hour change, not getting probably enough rest. Anyway, you know how it is. 
right? So I'll be using white for now to do, it's a pineapple, by the way. Most of you request so much of the pineapple, so you're going to love whatever I'm going to make. I know you are because you just keep requesting it, right? So I'm going to do a covered tablecloth or big centerpiece of pineapple. And like I said, I might do that at the end of this tablecloth at 3D Flowers at the end. Uh, not sure yet. Like I said, depending how I feel, if I'm not over exhausted to continue on and crack my head on it and uh, come up with, with that uh, plan. The idea is there in my head now. It's just having that um, strength to do it, right? Okay, so let's get started, everyone, okay? So 2.75 uh, 2.75 hooks. Sorry, I can't even function, right? Oh my goodness, Maggie, you haven't even started and you're already out of it. That's not good, is it? Probably need to make myself an espresso. I think that's what's going to boost me to, to get this pattern going, right? So I'm going to do the magic circle. If you're still having a hard time, then I suggest, especially using Aunt Lydia number three, do a 10 chain, okay? So I'm going to secure that with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in, do a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. If I can pull up a little bit, I know sometimes it's overwhelming not seeing the stitch well. So inside of this magic circle, I'm going to continue to do 23 more double crochets. With my single, and my two chain that I went up, I will have 24 double crochets total. This is row one. I've done my 24 double crochet. I'm closing my second chain from the first one and I went up single and two chain. Okay, I didn't want to close it too tight because we need space to continue on before it starts waving. Only further up, then I can pull on my string and tighten it up. So I'm going to come back in that same stitch I've closed, stretch my thread a bit, and one chain. So I have single one chain, two chains, so that's my first double crochet, and one more chain for space. Coming into the next one, doing double crochet, one chain space, into the next one, again, repeating exactly the 24 double crochets. Difference is we're having one chain space between them. This is row two. I'll meet you at the end. Going into row three, so I've closed in with slip stitch on my second chain. I'm going to come directly in the center here between the double crochets, single two chain. I have my first double crochet back in and doing my second double crochet one chain space so on this row we're doing two double crochet in each space in between the double crochets and one chain space between the groups of two i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so closed in my groups coming back in we're going to repeat this row again Single two chain, my first double crochet right on top of the second double crochet with double crochet. So it's just a repeat one chain, double crochet over double crochet, one chain space into the next one, and again. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished row four, one, two, three, four gonna come back in you can do your three chain as you used to making your regular double crochet to start on my second one I'm going to do two together on the same stitch okay so this row will be three double crochet one chain on the second double crochet two double crochet together one chain on my first double crochet, double crochet, on my second, two together. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished my row. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to repeat exactly what we just did on row six. 
So single two chain for me, could be just three chain for you. Next stitch, double crochet. And double crochet. Chain one. So we're doing three double crochets. One double crochet per stitch. We're just repeating what we just did. Three double crochets. Chain one. And again. This is row six. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so finished row six, going into row seven. Now, row seven, row eight will be exactly like this with four. Okay, so we did three, the increase, and here no increase. We did just over the double crochet. Now we're going to do the increase with four. The next row will be just over the double crochet. Okay, so row seven, so I'm coming in. Doing my single and two chain. My increase will be here on my second double crochet. Make sure you turn your CC caption on. It should be up here. So you can pause and read the uh, stitches I'm calling. Makes it easier for everyone. So now we have four. So we're going to be doing the increase in the center. Row eight is just double crochet over double crochet and one chain space exactly how we did here. So one chain, double crochet. On the second one, two double crochet together on the same stitch. That's our increase. We're having four double crochets, okay? And one chain space. On row eight, one double crochet per stitch. So we'll have four, exactly how we did here, okay? We'll have four and one chain space in between them. I'll meet you at the end of row eight. Hey everyone, so I finished doing row eight with four double crochets, one chain. Now, row nine and row ten will be exactly the same thing, four double crochets. The only difference is we're increasing on the chain. So this row nine, I'm going to do two chain space, okay? We're still doing four double crochet. One, two chain. And continuing to do the four double crochets, one per stitch. Okay, so row 10 will have three chain space and still have four double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of row 10 with three chain space between them. Okay, everyone, so I've completed row 10 with three chain space between them. Now, row 11 and 12 also will be with four double crochet. We're going to keep increasing in the chain. So this row 11 will be four double crochet, um, four chain uh, space, and of course, four double crochet. So one per stitch. And one, two, three, four chain. On row 12 will be a five chain space between them. That's the only increase we're doing on these rows is the chain space, okay? So row 11, four chain space. Row 12, five chain space. I'll come back to you at the end of row 12. Okay, everyone, so we finished doing row 12, going into row 13. Now, row 13, we're going to close this um, motive out. So, we're going to do four incomplete double crochets. So, I'm doing my single and my two chain on the next one, incomplete on the next one, incomplete, and on my fourth one, and complete and then close it all together one two three four five six seven 
eight, nine, ten chain. Coming on that first double crochet, we're just going to repeat the incomplete double crochet. Take out two and hold it in your hook. Take out two, and now we're going to close it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chain. And repeat exactly the same thing all the way around. Make sure you always look ahead of the video. Changes can be made or mistakes can be done and we can fix it on the spot without taking it down. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. This is row 13. Okay, everyone, so finished row 13, going into row 14. I've closed in with the slip stitch on my first chain, but I've closed all four together. I'm going to come in the center of this 10 chain, inside of the 10 chain, and I'm going to do my single and my two chain. I'm going to start building shells of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So I have my first shell. This whole row will be of shells. One, two chain. Coming again into the next one. If your tension is too tight, you can do a three chain space between them. And creating again my shell. Two chain. And three more. Double crochet. Two chain space into the next one. So it's just going to be a repeat now of shells. Two chain space between them. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row 14. I'm going to do the walk. I call it the walk with a slip stitch to the center of that shell with a shell. Single two chain and three double crochet. Two chain space and three more double crochet. So I'm building my first shell and I'm going to do three chain one, two, and three. I'm going to build my second shell. We're going to have three shells, okay, before we change anything with three chain space between them. So I've created my three shells, three chain space. I'm going to do three chain and inside of this shell I'm going to do nine double crochets okay and it's going to be repeat like this all the way around the same way always nine double crochets three shells nine double crochets three shells okay very simple so I have four five six seven eight and nine three chain and continue to do your three shells okay so I'll meet you at the end of my row just like that okay so now we're going to do three shells and then nine double crochets Okay, everyone, so I finished doing row 15, trying to get my rope out of the way. So row 15, we're going to repeat shell where the shell is. I'm just going to complete my three chains here now. Make sure that you're all even. The three shells, nine double crochet, three shells, nine double crochet. Okay. So we're going to do the walk again 
to the center of that shell where we have the shell. We're going to do shell. Single two chain. And do my shell the same way as I've been doing. <clears throat> So I've done my shell. Now we're going to do four chain. It has to keep increasing because the pattern's getting bigger. So shell over shell. Three double crochet, two chain. And three more double crochet. Chain four. Okay. And then shell again. So it's going to be like this all the way around. Now, where we have the foundation for the pineapples, we're doing three chain only. Three chain. Coming on the first double crochet from the nine, that's the foundation of the pineapple. One chain space and the nine double crochets. I have my nine double crochets, one chain space, chain three. So at the beginning and at the end here, chain three only. Everywhere else is chain four. And continue to do your shell the same way as where we have the shells. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row 16, going to row 17, which I've started my shell, because where we have shell, that's where we're continuing to do shell. The only difference now between shells, we're going to do five chain. One, two, three, four, and five into the next shell. Five chain again and do your shell. So I've done my three shells, five chain space, just before the, the pineapple, three chains only. Coming directly in between the first and the second double crochet, we're starting the loops, three chain loops for the pineapples. Three chain, single, three chain, single. Okay, so we have seven loops of three chain, chain three, and continue your shell, and then chain five space between them. One, two, three, four, five into your second shell. Okay, so this is just a repeat now, all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, finished row 17, going to row 18, which I've done the walk with a slip stitch, did my shell, now it's going to change a bit. So did my shell, I'm gonna come directly where I have those five chain and do a shell again. So this whole rule will be about shells. Where we have the five chain, we'll be adding shells in. So three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. No chain space into the shell with shell.
again in the five chain space we're doing shell in the shell with shell Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five shells. Chain three stays the same and into the pineapple loops. So we're starting to decrease on the pineapple loops. Should have six loops on this row. And three chain again, shell over shell. And now we're just going to repeat everything we just did with the five shells. No chain space between them, except when we get to the pineapple. Three chain here and three chain there. Everywhere else is shells. Okay. Okay, you guys, finished row 18, going to row 19. I've started my shell. This row will be about shells, one chain space between the shells. So where we have the shells, we'll be doing shells. The only difference is that one chain space. Everything else stays the same. We're just repeating all the shells that we did, the five shells. One chain and continue to do your five shells. One chain space and shell again. So I'm going to continue to do my five shells. So I have four, one, two, three, four, going into the fifth. So I've done my five shells, one chain space between them. Chain three stays the same for the pineapples. Coming in the loop, still going to decrease all the way to the end of pineapple with three chains. And three chain again, shell over shell. So it's just a repeat now, nothing, no major changes on here. So we have one, two, three, four, five loops, okay? And continue to do your shells, one chain space between them. Okay, everyone, so finish row 19, going into row 20. It, we're going to repeat exactly the same thing, shell over shell. The only difference is this time we have a two chain space between shells. One, two chain. Shell over shell. So very simple, nothing to it. That's the only difference on this row 20. It's just that two chain space between them. The pineapple stays the same. The three chain and the three chain for the pineapple loops. Three chain, shell over shell, two chain space, shell over shell. So I'll meet you at the end, at the beginning of row 21.
Okay, everyone, going into row 21. So I've started my shell. This time, three chain. Shell. And on the third shell, so we have two shells done. One, two, three, chain. On the third shell, we're doing the nine double crochets again for the foundation of the second row of pineapples. Same thing as we did at the beginning here. So two, four, six. Seven, eight, and nine. Almost knocked down my light. Everything is limited here in my space. Again, chain three. One, two, and three. Shell over shell. So we do have those five shells. We're working on the middle one, which is two shelves on the right side, two shelves on the left side. One, two, three chain, and my second shell here on the left side. Of course, for the upload of the left-handed people, this would be on your right side. One, two, and three chain. Continue to do your pineapple loops. And then one, two, three chain. Continue to do again your shell. I'll show you in a second what it looks like. So we have two shells. These are three chain, nine double crochet, three chain, and two shells on this side. Three chain for the pineapple loops, and we have one, two, three pineapple loops left on this row. Here we have one, two, three, four, and then we're going to create three left. Okay, so it's just a repeat now, remembering when you get. So you're going to do this shell and this shell, and on the middle one, which is the third one, nine double crochets. Then you have two shells left. Okay. Okay, everyone, going into row 22. So I've started my shell. One, two, three, four chain. Doing shell over shell. One, two, three chain only for the pineapples, exactly how we did the other one. One chain space and continue to do your nine double crochets. So basically it's repeating what we did with the first pineapple. We're just repeating the same thing on the second one. Or the second row of pineapples, I should say. Okay. So here's the three chain. And everywhere else is four chain. Between the shells. So 
So four chain and then three chain. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone going into row 23. So I've done my shell already. This time we're going to do a five chain. One, two, three, four, five. Do your shell over shell. Three chain, one, two, three. And we're gonna start to do the pineapple loops. So we're going in between the first and the second double crochet. Chain three. And single, chain three. And single. So we'll have the seven loops again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain three and do the shell so the only difference is now is just the five chain that we're doing in between shell here where we have the pineapples we're doing three chain at the beginning and at the end one two three four five chain Continue with your shell. One, two, three, chain into the pineapple. One, two, three. So on this row, you're supposed to have only one loop left for this pineapple to be almost closed out. Chain three, continue shell over shell. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 24. So I've started already my shell. Now, inside of this five chain we did, we're going to do a shell again, like we did on the previous ones. Three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet no chain space directly into the next one so we'll have three shells here and then we're going to do our three chain for the pineapples so same thing as we did single, three chain single, and then your three chain shell. So I've done six loops on this row, three chain shell, again shell. So we're doing the three shells again. And five chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming in our last loop of the pineapple. One, two, three, four, five chain. Into the next one with shell. 
So we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So where we have our shells, we do our shells. Where we have our five chain space, we do our shells. So it's three groups of shell in between pineapples. Okay, so five chain there, your three shells, and your three chain loops for the pineapple. Okay, everyone, so I finished row 24 going into row 25. Now, row 25, where we have closing in our first pineapple, we're only going to do three double crochets. When we come around on this one, we're going to do also three double crochets, and we'll close it as the shell, Okay. So only where we have the previous pineapple, the first pineapple we did, chain two and doing the shell, the normal shell as we've been doing. So the only time we're doing those three is to uh, complete <coughs> the uh, first pineapple that we did, which you will see now up ahead when I'm reaching to close it in so two chain space again and create your next shell okay and then of course we're still building this pineapple chain three so continue with your uh, three uh, chains and single so my three chain and we're doing the shell because this is the second pineapple we still need to do a few more rows before we can close it out chain two and do your shell again chain two now we're going to do only three double crochets because we're going to close the pineapple out Okay, chain two and three double crochets here. So this would be like doing the shell. Okay, and then chain two. And continue to do your shell. chain two and your shell again we're still building that second pineapple row so it stays the same as shells in order for us to close it out one two and three and continue your loops for the pineapple okay so this is what it's going to look like I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So finished row 25, going into row 26. So we had the three double crochets, two chain. Now I'm going to close it on the third chain here. For me, a second chain because it's a single two chain with a slip stitch. Okay. I'm going to come back in with a single and two chain. So this is my first double crochet because when we're going to come around, we're going to do a shell here. And then one, two, three chain for space. We were doing two, now we're doing three chain, as we did on the previous pineapples, okay? 
Continue to do your shell. And three chain space between them this time. One, two, and three, and shell over shell. Three chain, continue your pineapple loops. Okay. Done my pineapple loops, three chain, continue your shells. Your three chain, one, two, and three. Shell over shell. Now we've reached where we've closed out that pineapple. Remember, we did three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet. Now we're going to do three chain. And in the center, we're going to do our shell. That's why we'll complete the other one, the first one we started. Three chain and continue your shells again. And your three chain shell, three chain your loops. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So only when we come back at the end that we're going to complete. So we already have one double crochet for the shell. We'll complete the shell when we come back to it. Okay, everyone. So finished row 26. Now you remember we started with that single two chain then three chain we had only one there so i've completed my shell there and closed in with a slip stitch on my second chain when i started single and two chain that was my first double crochet okay now we're going to come in the center here of this three chain and do a shell No chain space and doing shells. So where we have the two chain space, we're doing shells now, like we did on the previous rows. So this row is all about shells. Into that two, uh, three chain space, I should say. And create shell. And then, of course, you're going to continue to do your three chain for the pineapple loops. Three chain and into the pineapples. So you're going to have shell over shell and in between the uh, chain spaces okay so i'll meet you at the end everything else stays the same
Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we finished row 27, going to row 28. Now, row 28 and 29 and 27 is exactly the same. It's just shell over shell. We need to complete until we have one left of these uh, pineapple loops, okay? So I am going to do the walk. So I close in with slip stitch. I'm gonna do the walk with slip stitch to the center of this shell and create my shell. So everywhere we have shell, we're doing shells. The only difference is we're doing one chain space on this row 28 uh, between the shells. And then the next row, we're doing two chain space between the shells. Okay, so one chain and shell. That's all we have to do. And there's no point of recording the same thing over and over. So all three rows and the next row will be shells. This one has no chain space. This one, one chain space. And the next one, two chain space. Shell over shell. And then uh, your three chains for your pineapples until we have one left. Okay, so I'm going to complete mine until we have that one left so we can close out the pineapple together. One chain and then continue to do all of the shells over shell. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row 29. And you should have uh, one loop left at the end of the next row. Because now we're going to do two loops on the pineapple. Chain three, single, chain three. So we have our first loop and our second loop. So you know that the next row, you should have only one loop left. And then continue shell over shell, two chain space, one chain space between them, and the next row, two chain space between them. One chain, and continue one with your shell over shell. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row 29. Okay, everyone, so I finished row 29 going into row 30. So pretty much row 30 is to close out the pineapple, exactly how we did the other one with five chains. So I'm gonna do the walk into the center shell over shell. That will be all the way around the same way. We're almost done. Three chain, exactly how we did with the other ones, shell over shell and three chain space be, uh, between them. We don't want the pattern to pull, right? So I'm gonna continue through my three chain, my shell, and I'll meet you here on the last one. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the last shell. We're gonna do the five chain. Two, three, four, and five. Exactly how we did with the last one the first pineapples and five chain again. So we did single, one, two, three, four, five, and your shell. And continue your shells, three chain space between them. I'll meet you at the end. Okay. okay everyone, so we finished the row 29, going into row 30. This is the last row now. You do have some options on this last row. If you don't want to do another row right after this, 
you can do your double crochets and you can already do your picots. Okay, I'm giving you the examples uh, of what you can do. So you can just terminate that way. You can do one chain, you can come in here, one chain in the center with a single. These are just samples for you, uh, ideas, I should say. And pick up. Coming back in and doing your three double crochet. Now I'm planning to do 3D flowers around it. So I'm not going to close mine completely. I'm not going to work it um, this last row like this. I will have to go to another video for uh, the 3D flowers. Um, that's optional for you. Now you can close it with single or you can close it with uh, slip stitch if you want your, your um, shell here to be more closed and do the peacock closing with slip stitch over here, okay? I'll show you when I get to the pineapple. So I'm getting to the pineapple. I'm doing my shell with peacock here. One chain. Now, you could either come in here with it like that, close it up this way, or you can just do a two chain and go directly to the next, um, the next shell there, okay? These are just options for you. You don't have to do it this way, or you can, if you don't want to do it on here, you can just do that one chain. Or two chain as you wish and go directly into the next one. And do your shell with the peacock, okay? Just a way of closing that pineapple out more for you. And this is pretty much what it would look like. But that's optional for you. You don't have to do it this way. Or you can just do um, without peacocks if you don't. I know that some of you don't, are not like fond of peacocks, right? So you can just pretty much not do the peacock and do um, and if you don't want to come in here you can just do a two three chain and go directly there okay so you'd skip the first one these are just examples for you and do um, so double crochet, skip the first one, two inside. You could even do three inside if you want it to be fuller. And not do the last one. Skip the first one, come in the second again. This is where the pineapple is. Two inside or three. By doing three, it gives you more of a round shape and fuller. So I'm just giving you the example here, and I'm doing three on this one. And so you'll see the difference. It might not look too different, but it is. It makes a difference on the pattern. This one has two and that one has three. You can close it up that way also if you like. So I'm going to leave it to your criteria as you wish, uh, as you prefer to do. And um, I'm going to stop here because I'm planning to uh, go into the second video and add 
my 3D flowers, which I'm still debating which one I am going to create. I had created one here already, but not too sure about it. <clears throat> this is, I call it the carnation. I have this out. It was at the beginning of my tutorials when I first started and didn't know any codes at all. Um, but I think I had redone the carnation uh, flower. <clears throat> so this would be added on to the edge here, one after another. But I'm still debating if I'm going to put some green in there or not, you know, to have some leaves. But I'll just think about it and see how. I go about okay so i want to thank every single one of you i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i have a little video and some pictures at the end to show you what this beauty looks like and if you're interested to add the 3d flowers then uh join me at the end um to the next video another uh, option for you if you want to keep increasing a little bit bigger you can just continue doing your uh, shells uh, your three chain you can do two three rows of three chain and then two three rows of four chain and keep going shell uh, with shell and shell and shell all shells so you'll have enough length also on there with shells and if you wanted to whiten it up more then you would have to do exactly how we, we did you will have to add more shells so that means do shell uh, one chain here or two chain I should say shell shall 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 you know what i'm saying exactly how we had done it here okay and that's going to expand more of your pattern by adding more shells um on the rows <clears throat> um that we had done okay so it just creates you more large it, it largens the pattern up by adding more shells into <clears throat> into the uh, space here okay so i'll just show you sometimes it's much easier to show okay so that because i know some of you are going oh how can i make it bigger i know you're going to ask me so you do your shell uh chain two Go directly, no chain. Exactly how we started. Remember how we started for the first row? There's no chain. Second row, there's one chain space. Third row, two chain space, and so on. Until the desired length you want, right? So this is just going to give you more of wideness on the pattern. And it just keeps growing more and more and more. Because obviously, you know, you, you're you not just going to keep doing... Uh, chain stitch like five six seven eight nine ten i mean it's going to look ridiculous at some point right so you'll have to add uh, more shells in there on each of the chain space here so exactly how we did here now that we had added the shells so we're basically doing this row here and then you'd go chain one chain two chain three and then if you want to continue bigger then you continue to keep adding shells onto it. Okay, so that's just exa uh, examples for you. And uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time. And if you don't want to close it with uh, peacocks, you can just do singles all the way around and close it up with singles. Okay? Take everybody. God bless. Oh.